experiencing a strange phenomenon. <laughs> because wherever you look, you've never been you see someone before. Confused? The teachers certainly are. Statistics say you've got a 1 in 80 chance of being one, and if you are one, you're more likely to be a boy. But Chichester High School really has more than its fair share, because at this school... Brent and David. Jonathan and James. Chris and Matt. Thomas and Daniel. Gareth and Anthony. Simon and Oliver. Jamie and Jason. Ross and James. Russell, Greg, Will and Paul are all identical twins. And if you think that's impressive, meet the Hallam triplet. Will, Joseph, and Anthony. All in one school. Amazing. But what must it be like to have a mirror image as a brother? Is it twice as nice to be a twin? Or just double the trouble? The best thing about being a twin is um, probably always having someone there. When you start school or go to a new club, you've got a friend to go with, someone that you know already. He's talking, and then I get so bored, and he talks too long, and like, he's like, that, you know that girl right there, yeah? You know, like, the one with the white post, yeah? You know, that one over in the left, so yeah? yeah. Okay. You see, twins might look like two peas in a pod, but on the inside, are they made of the same green squashy stuff? People treat us like as as the twins, and we don't like that much. We don't like it at all, actually. And the jokes as well, like double trouble. I'm seeing double. Look, look over there, it's your mirror image. And they just kind of go oi instead of <laughs> calling out your name. That's an assumption everyone makes. Two people look the same, then they they are the same. But we're not. We're completely different people. Yeah. It's very loud. Yeah. I think I'm a lot louder than his. I'm sort of generally more messy and I'm organised than he is. Sometimes I get the result of his being loud and I get in trouble. I walk in and there's Jason playing his guitar on a messy bed. Jason, it's time to go to school. Oh, hell, I haven't had my bed, I haven't done my hair. We've got two different personalities, two different lives. We'd like to keep it like that, not be glued together by what other people think. Ready, guys? Go! Here's the challenge. If you had to paint a picture that made you feel, say, really happy, and you had two minutes to do it, would you paint the same as your brother? Conclusive proof that triplets don't always think alike. Daniel and Thomas are truly identical. They share the same eyes, the same ears, and the same hair, and they both share a love of football. Which football team are you going to play for when you get older? Liverpool. A lot of people get us mixed up. My mum and dad get me mixed up a bit. I'm from the back, sometimes from the front. Sometimes they come up to us and go, oh, your brother's ugly, and it's a joke. It's a nice thing at the school where there's just another team. Yeah, because they don't know what you're going for. Well, I reckon it's something in the water. Why would you be bad having a twin brother, would it? I mean, imagine another individual like myself with my considerable looks. It's frightening, isn't it? Oh, wait, wait, you forgot your stuff! I wouldn't want a twin brother who was like him. Yes, that's what you are. <laughs> I mean, can have anything. <laughs> now another 